Hi, Tony here. I'm about to record another lesson here, and I just want to let you know that I'm working from this textbook, this Go Math 7th grade California textbook, and uh, this is the regular 7th grade, and then there's also the accelerated, I don't have a copy of the student copy, but here's the teacher edition, this is what it looks like, and uh, both cover the exact same thing on the exact same page, and so if you don't have your copy or you need another one, I'll have a link in the description where you can get one. And let's get started. All right, so we have the guided practice for lesson 2.1, and it's all about multiplying integers. And the basic thing is, um, well, I have this little thing here, uh, negative times a negative is a positive. And if you need to learn why this is all happening, I have the lesson right before this as to uh, uh, why why this all works. But um, for now, I'm just going to use this as a reminder. So this is uh, this is all multiplication. So 1 times 9 is 9, and a negative times positive is a negative. And that would be shown here, a negative times a positive is a negative. See, it's a shine that's shown there. Again, this is in the lesson that uh, is in the prior video. And so we just rifle through these. 14 times 2 is 28, and one of them is negative. So the answer is negative. 9 times 6 is 54. Uh, negative times negative is positive. Um, it, basically, if you have one negative here, if one of them is negative, then the answer is going to be negative. 2 times 50 is 100. 4 times 15 is 60. Uh, anything times 0 is 0. So there's no negative zeros or anything like that. Uh, negative times negative, positive, 49. You got one negative here. It's going to be negative. And uh, 15 times 9 is 135. 8 times 12 is 96. Uh, 3 times 100 is 300. Multiplying by 0 always gets you 0. Oh, I skipped this one. 6 times 32. Well, 6 times 2 is 12. So it's a 2. 12. Uh, 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. So that should be 192. Negative 192. And then here we have... Some word problems. Flora made seven withdrawals of $75 each from her bank account. What was the overall change? Seven of them and $75 each a withdrawal. So you're subtracting money from the account. And there you go. So multiplying these, that's a total of $525 removed from her account. What's the overall change? It's negative $525. If you said regular 525, then that means she's adding $525 to her account. And then here, a football team lost five yards on each of three plays. Explain how you would use a number line to find the team's change in field position after three plays. I would start at zero and move five yards to the left three times, which means I have five, negative five done three times, which is 15 a uh, total of negative 15, so the team lost 15 yards. And we have this here. The temperature dropped 2 degrees every hour for 6 hours. What was the total number of degrees the temperature changed in the 6 hours? Dropped negative 2 6 times. So 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. So it dropped a total of 12 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, there's our bell. Super early in the morning. And... Our check-in, explain the process of finding the product of two integers. So when you're multiplying two integers, such as 14 times negative 2, that's negative 28. So you would multiply the absolute value. So let's just multiply 14 times 2, 28. If both integers are the same sign, the product is positive. So think about it. If you have 14 times 2, that's 28. If you have negative 14 times negative 2, that's positive 28. The, uh, if they are different, so if the signs are different, the product is negative. So there you go. There's a quick rundown on the guided practice for lesson 2.1.